This is going to be a demo of the Asus ME572 Tablet on Android Lollipop. As you can see right there, the quick settings have been changed. They have the new card UI, new icons, and you can access them with one swipe down for the notification tray instead of tapping another button. In the settings, they change it to have two columns instead of one, which makes it a whole lot better when viewed in landscape mode. In portrait, it also has the two columns, but it doesn't look as good. As you can see, they also added a search bar so you can search through the settings to find what you need to change. And in the weather app, they changed a few things. They separated the real fill graph from the main temperature graph, and they also added a progress bar when refreshing at the top of the app above the status bar, which is a pretty good use of that area. The what's next widget changed a lot. It's now opaque and a whole lot easier to see instead of being all transparent and glass-like. The app drawer didn't really change at all, it was pretty much in line with material design already. In the clock app, a lot of things got simplified, including the stopwatch, and material design is present in the clock app. In the app switcher, you can see we also you can see a new card UI that's present in Lollipop, and on the right are several buttons including the pin, including pin app to screen and close all apps. To the left is quick access to Google. To the left is quick access to Google Now. Going to the About section of the tablet, you can see the Android version numbers Android 5.0.1 Lollipop, introduced in April of 2015. And you can see there's a Lollipop logo. Tap it a bunch of times and press and hold it. You'll get to the Easter egg. This time it's a built-in game in the style of Flappy Bird. You can see I had to speed this up because the tablet slows down a lot whenever you're doing screen recordings. It only averages about 18 frames per second, so it makes the game a whole lot slower than it actually is in real life. Many of the Asus apps didn't really change their design. They were already material design compliant since KitKat and the introduction of the tablet. You can see every Asus app, the menu is to the left and it downsizes the main window in a very unique way. It just like zooms in and zooms out of the main window of the app. Google Play Store, of course being a Google app, has full material design support using the green theme near the top. In an update in late May of 2015, the Auto Start Manager was included as a built-in app. And it allows you, without using root, to allow or deny apps to auto start whenever the tablet is booted up. It can save a whole lot of memory. It's a, it's a stopgap measure to the memory leak bug in Android 5.0. In the data usage section, the new graph uses the lollipop teal color instead of the old hollow light blue color. And you can see all the app data usage down below. This does have an Ethernet tab because the tablet does support Ethernet via USB on the go Ethernet device. In the battery section you have the new color, the Lollipop Cyan color, also present in the status bar for the settings app. And you also can disable or enable the battery percentage. This tablet also supports multiple users just like it did in KitKat. You can add a guest user and other users by name. In the storage section, you can view a bunch of different categories on what's being used in internal storage. It does take a while for each category to calculate how much it uses. The system reserves about 5GB, and you can see in the SD card area, you can't really see that many details in there, just how much space is free. And in the app section, you can view a bunch of different categories in the apps, all apps running and downloaded. The running section displays how much RAM you are using and how much RAM each app uses. Keep in mind it doesn't actually load this slow when you transition and swipe between the different tabs. It's just the screen recording. So that's pretty much it for the demo of the Asus ME572 tablet on Lollipop. Thanks for watching.